happen if you tried to rebuild a team with zero players? Our team here was formerly the Chicago Bears. But after trading and cutting every single player on this lineup, we're left at a zero overall and not a single football player. The good news is we have $210 million in cap space. And it's not like we just gave up our players. We got as many draft picks as was humanly possible out of our entire team. 15 first round picks. We have two second round picks, two thirds, three fourths, two fifths, a sixth. And we even have two first round picks in 2025. So some teams talk about tanking or rebuilding, but we really talked about tanking and rebuilding. Now, granted, the fans in Chicago were not exactly thrilled to see all their favorite players leave. All those years they spent watching Aaron Rodgers own them was for nothing. And unfortunately, Bears fans charged the stadium and have been committing arson left and right. Fair to say it's time to relocate this team. Ni hao, buddy! I'm taking my talents to the Shanghai Sharks. We're headed to Japan. Shanghai's in China, isn't it? It's okay, guys. I'm racist. I'm also confused. I just relocated to Tokyo, but we're still the Bears. Maybe we need some players. It's also time to choose our draft class. I'll be using auto-generated rookies. And normally, the rookies are all wondering, what team am I going to get drafted by? But let me tell you, Jamie, Eric, Alex, Joel, Joe, Brian, Callaway, Dwight, you guys better start the group chat early and start studying Japanese. Because you're coming to Tokyo. I can tell you that right now. Clearly, we're going to tank this season. But what is going to happen when I click next week here? We have no players. And we're supposed to be playing the Packers in week one. So it's letting me do it. Oh, you know what? I'm actually shocked at how efficient that was. It automatically signed us practice squad players. So technically we have no players. Our starting lineup, let's see who it signed for us. We've got Matt Ryan, Michael Carter, Trent Sherfield, Equinamia St. Brown, Preston Williams. We basically have just your shittiest team. Casey Hayward, what were you doing over there? Chris Wormley? Everett? All right, well, we've signed 27 players to the roster. Uh, we're 0-1. Nobody's shocked there. What's funny is, yeah, we're probably going to go 0-17. But with all the talent we're about to acquire, I wonder if we truly become a superpower in this league or if it just doesn't work that way. How did we win? How do we win three games? Seriously, though, how do we win three games? <laughs> How did we, I, I wanna know who we beat. Who the fuck lost to us? All right, who lost? Who lost to my practice squad? We beat the Washington Commanders, the Carolina, I don't know how we beat the Carolina Panthers and we beat them pretty bad, 24 to seven. And we smacked the Packers. Holy shit, we smacked them. We dropped 38. Wait a minute, can I see that box score, please? How did we do that? Matt Ryan, 262, four touchdowns. Michael Carter had 67 rushing yards. Equinamia St. Brown was eight for 107 and a touchdown. Michael Carter, oh my God, we went off. Okay, this year is a wash for us. We knew it'd be a tank year. We go three and 14, that's perfect. At the end of season one, we are three and 14. Most of our players have left or got cut or we're only signed to one year deals. But um, we have Cameron Dantzler, I guess. We have $316 million. <laughs> and listen, a lot of these prospects are coming our way. I made sure to scout quarterbacks since obviously it's kind of going to be the cornerstone of our squad here. My favorite quarterback who's actually fallen a lot in the rankings is this dude right here, Kyle Callaway. The number one quarterback, at least here, is Eric Irons. But so his deep accuracy is A, but his medium accuracy is B. Throw under pressure is B. Short is D. I mean, that's horrible. Dwight Novak looks nasty too. He's A, C to D, medium, A short, A under pressure. So he could be a really good option. But then further down here, Kyle Callaway, look at this. A to B deep, A medium, B short, A under pressure. So he's basically A's and B's. Other than that, the first round pick, Jamie Childress. I think this will probably be my round one pick one. He's projected first. He's a 6'5", 247 speed rusher. His player notes are lengthy. And my favorite part here is he has A block shedding. So he's a speed rusher, so an edge threat. And he has A block shedding already, A tackle. His hip power is B to D. His finesse moves are A. So he's A block shedding, A finesse moves. This guy's gonna be a beast. I I'm excited to, to grab him. So I think it's Jamie Childress. Dwight Novak is definitely one of my 
like quarterback options. I just don't like C to D medium accuracy when Kyle Callaway is A medium accuracy, B short, and a pressure, A to B. This guy is actually probably my favorite. He's six foot six, strong arm out of Texas Tech. You know who else is out of Texas Tech? Patrick Mafraud. Jackson Holmes brother. It is time, boys. This is where we rebuild. Oh my God, we're not actually the first pick. Oh my God, the Seahawks. We had no players. And the Seattle Seahawks managed to be worse than us. How is that even possible? Oh, just don't take Jamie. Don't take Jamie Childress. Okay, this is super weird. The draft appears to be broken because I didn't get to see who they just took. By the way, if you were wondering, the Steelers made the Super Bowl. The Falcons won it. Desmond Ritter was MVP. Yeah, I've never seen that Super Bowl before. All right, round one pick, dude. Did they take Jamie Childress? They did not. Who did they take? It looks like they took the quarterback that was above Dwight Novak. So the Seahawks elect to go quarterback. They leave Jamie Childress on the board. Best case scenario, I could pick him up, and then potentially I get Dwight Novak. Shit, you know, shit, technically, I could get both of them. I have enough draft picks. But our very first pick is Jamie Childress out of Miami. The speed rusher. Hidden dev, at least star, 89 acceleration, 84 speed. I'd have liked to see his speed be a little bit higher. But 89 acceleration is amazing. He's going to be an edge rusher. This could be... Our lead edge set on the squad, baby. The draft is totally busted, though. I have none of the draft, like, animation shit. All right, up to our next pick for round one, pick four. Did they take Dwight Novak? The Cardinals were just up. They did not take Dwight Novak. So Novak is still in here. A, 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 C to D medium. He has elite acceleration, decent speed. A, throw on the run. A, under pressure. A, deep. A, short. I think this is our guy. I think we go Dwight Novak here. He's so high up, but listen, if one of our late picks and Kyle Callaway is still in there... I do want to take him. Damn, he's fast. Oh, 78 speed though. Dude, I'm getting high excel, low speed. He's a really fast improviser QB out of UCF. To have 90 excel and 78 speed is kind of counterintuitive. 92 throw power is monster. And he's hidden dev too, so that was the right call. At the very least, he's star. All right, so I feel confident that we have a great edge rusher and a great quarterback. Because they're both at least star. So we can skip past doing another quarterback. What's the next cornerstone to an NFL franchise? We could go Brian Harrell. The power rusher out of Virginia Tech. I don't like his stats nearly as much as Jamie Childress. We could get a stud offensive lineman. This dude, Earl Andrews. C pass blocking is kind of mid. Quincy Hawkins got pursuit tackle. Juan Murphy out of Wisconsin. He's a lefty. He's 5'10", 177. He's tiny. He's got to be fast if we were going to take him. He's got the ninth 40-yard dash. He's not fast enough to be 5'10". So I'm not going to grab him. <laughs> you know, I actually really like this dude, Manny Moses. He has elite agility and excel which doesn't actually matter but he placed super well in the combine in almost every single category he's got b pass block b run block and then a to c awareness impact block is there anything that's really concerning i'd say pass block and run block power at c and d is not good i'm gonna take a shot on a tackle here hidden dev come on listen boys we get hidden dev every single time we are in business to build this team but the minute we start getting normal devs, we're going to be in trouble. Those guys will progress damn near as well as a practice squad player. Ooh, we've got, oh my God, we've got like, we have quad, we have back to back to back to back to back picks right here. That's actually really, really good. So we can't, we can't get sniped on anybody. We just take the best players available. I'm going to take Earl Andrews. So we now have two elite tackles, hopefully. Hidden dev out of Earl Andrews, 90 strength is a great start. A impact, A to C lead. The rest of that doesn't look too good, to be honest with you, but I'm most excited just about the star dev or hidden dev. I assume it's star. Shit, if he wants to pop out as a superstar, I won't complain about it. Juan Murphy is not the guy. I'm not taking him. What about Matthew Gresham, the strong safety out of UCLA? Doesn't seem too fast. Great strength, great acceleration. B hit power. Uh, I don't like him that much. Actually, no, he really does. He has Bs and As in most of these. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna shoot for Matthew Gresham here. I was gonna get I am every time I see hidden, I'm really excited. So we are, so far have only hit hidden devs. But he's 88 speed. 92 excel. 92 excel is nice. It's just not very fast for a strong safety. Do we take Josh Boss? He's the second half back in 40 yard dash, but at his pro day, he was the 11th. I wonder if he's actually fast. He's 5'11", 209 out of Rutgers. He's a receiving back. With A to C catching, A to C break tackle. Wait a minute. His catch and traffic's actually really good. His routes are good. This is an interesting running back. He's like a little Christian McCaffrey. Is that what this is? He's almost got the McCaffrey build. He's just a little too tall. No, this is the McCaffrey build. 5'11", 209. Josh Boss, no! That's our first normal dev. But I'm not gonna lie. This dude's kind of a dog. 93 speed, 93 excel is the best intangibles we've gotten so far. He's 22 years old. He could definitely win 
Hey, listen, if he wants to go ahead and win Offensive Rookie of the Year and take that normal up to a star dev, that'd be awesome. But damn, there's our first dev trait with. You guys want to talk about a freak show? Patrick Beckham is a 6'4 man-to-man corner. He is huge. I think my concern is his 40-yard dash is not very good. Let's get his speed as good. Acceleration's elite. This will be our first DB pickup. I did, we did get the strong safety who was hidden, Dev. Let's take Patrick Beckham to DB. Holy shit, dude. I'm getting, like, the strongest acceleration draft class ever. Beckham has 95 excel. And 91 speed is great, especially when you're 6'4". Hidden dev. Quincy Hawkins is kind of staring at me. I'm not going to lie. A pursuit, A tackle. He'd be another outside linebacker. He has elite... Ex Everybody's got elite acceleration. This is crazy. My whole class. But everything else is just not that good. Coverages are bad, so he's just kind of like... Oh, a tackle. I'm going to take Quincy Hawkins here. Thank you. Quincy Hawkins. 82 speed, 91 excel. Hidden dev. Let's go. Dude, one of these guys got to be superstar. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so we have round one pick 16, and we don't pick again until round one pick 21. I almost want to be safe and take Kyle Callaway here. Oh, or do I wait? Do I let Kyle Callaway fall to me on the next pick? We really do need a wide receiver, though, or maybe one of these tight ends. Ben Lehman is a six-foot wide receiver out of Oklahoma State. Slow. Slow. Slow, slow, slow. I know speed isn't the only thing that matters, but I don't really want to draft, like, just a piss, a slow ass. What about the tight ends? It's a 6'3 tight end. Small tight end, but his speed is great. Strength is great. Acceleration is great. I kind of like this. Landry Dunn. Landry Dunn or... Alani Gaffney or Mike Petty? Mike Petty's got a lot of A's in there. Alani Gaffney is the fastest tight end out of Michigan. Yo, elite speed, elite jumping. I gotta go Alani Gaffney here. Don't be normal dev. Don't you dare be normal dev. He's out of the University of Michigan, so I already hate this dude. Boom! 89 speed, 89 excel, 6'5 vertical threat, hidden dev, tight end, Alani Gaffney. Okay, best case scenario, this next pick is Kyle Callaway is still available. Because I really like Kyle Callaway. Oh my God, he's really... Actually, there's three quarterbacks above him that are still available. I just don't get why he's dropping so far. A to B deep, A medium, B short, B on the run, A under pressure. He's damn near already a super good quarterback. I might be reaching by taking him this early, but I want to be protected at the quarterback position. I'm going to draft Kyle Callaway. Dude, I'm, te I'm telling you, man, I, I don't know what the deal is. Although none of these teams really want to draft a quarterback anyway. So 81 Excel, 83 speed, 97. Holy shit, he's got a cannon. 97 throw power, hidden dev. So I'm going to let him and Dwight Novak kind of just like hang out. We'll see in the draft recap who's the higher overall. We're also round one pick 23. So that worked out nicely. We got Callaway and now we can pick up what? We have no guards right now. We have no free safety. Dude, Khalil Thomas out of Mississippi State looks really good. I could move Khalil Thomas to guard. Look at this dude. A impact, A lead, B pass, B power, B run block. His pass block finesse is horrible. I don't know how much that matters. I'm going to pick up Khalil Thomas and move him to guard. Hopefully he's hidden. Dude, I'm on an absolute roll right now. We have drafted one normal dev player. It's our halfback. Our halfback is our only normal dev right now. I mean, it is the first round. They're kind of supposed to be hidden dev, but we still have a lot of picks in this first round too. Low key, I probably could have waited on Kyle Callaway, but that's okay. The free safeties are really falling in this draft. Elite jumping, great speed, great agility out of Oscar Hammond. Alton Elston. Elite agility. What about Danny Jackson? Hmm, I think Oscar Hammond is the guy. We're going to take free safety Oscar Hammond here. I also like him because he's 6'2", but his his skills aren't great. A catching, I don't know. Hopefully, he's at least a hidden dev. Yeah, because his stats aren't going to be very good, but he is hidden dev, so he can progress. 91 speed, 91 jump, 91 agility, 86 acceleration. That is about as average of a free safety as you're going to draft. We've got round one, pick 29, 31, and 32. Pick 29. I'm just going to... What position do we need? I still need a wide receiver. Here's J.R. Sweeting out of Clemson. He's a playmaker. He's 22 years old. He's six foot three with elite acceleration. His speed is only good. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that his speed is good. He's got a good amount of A's up there, though. A to C spec. A medium, deep route C to F. Yikes. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a chance on this dude, JR Sweeting. Damn it. He's honestly kind of nice though. Actually, he is nice. 92 speed, 94 Excel, and he's six foot three. 
But he's normal dev. So my halfback and my wide receiver are normal dev right now. That's not great. I technically have no down linemen. I have no D tackles or DNs. I just have edge rushing linebackers, which technically I could move them around. I'm going to take, I'm going to take Blaine Meltzer here. He's 21 years old out of USC. Normal dev speed rusher, 85 speed, 87 Excel, 85 strength. Damn. He's got nice, um, he's got nice speed in Excel, but, uh, was hoping for hidden dev. Pick 32 here. There's lots of free safeties. There's this corner brian adkins Can i pick up another db here marginal change of direction and marginal speed i can't take you i can't take you brian i can take this d tackle travis byram out of miami thank you we're back 80 excel 92 strength is great to start with for a d tackle hidden dev We'll see what he ends up being. And our first pick of the second round is pick two. And at this point, I don't want to say it's a free-for-all because it's definitely not. But we, uh, we're we really just going to be taking some Hail Marys here. Here's another massive wide receiver. 6'4", 21, left-handed out of Tennessee, Gregory Murphy. Okay, his speed is bad. They give it solid. His jumping is elite. His strength is elite. So he's honestly very similar to the guy we just got. So I don't really, I don't know if I want two gigantic wide receivers. I think I probably should be looking for a speed guy. I'm going to take Darius Morris, free safety from Wisconsin. I'm really just looking for hidden devs at this point, and we're not going to get it there. 91 speed, 86 XL. He'll be usable, though. We'll still, we'll still rock with him. Look at Mick Petty. This tight end Mick Petty has insane, has A's everywhere. I'm taking him. They're like, like, that is not a positional need at all. So we don't need a tight end. But wow, I mean, hey, he's hidden dev. Honestly, what he could turn into is some trading fodder. We could move one of our tight ends to wide receiver if we really wanted to. I say we just look for a really fast wide receiver. You are not a really fast wide receiver. I guess I gotta take Dylan Tigner here just because the value is really high. And that's why he's falling because he's normal dev. 91 speed, 88 excel, 6'4". Very similar to my other wide receiver. With our next pick though, which is basically a back-to-back, -back, we're super close up here. I just gotta take a fast wide receiver. Tyler Oliver has great speed. Elite acceleration. It's pr this is probably a bit of a reach, but I'm going to take him. I asked for a fast receiver. I got one. 95 speed, 95 acceleration. That's our return specialist. Usually don't draft a return specialist, but we'll take him. I'm going to I'm gonna make one more pick. I'm going to let the CPU do the rest. Because at this point, I'm literally just chucking darts at shit. Like, I'm not. There's no strategy here. I'm going to take Kalen Wolf out of Oregon State. I wonder how many hidden devs are actually available in these late rounds because he's another normal dev. Probably just little diamonds in the rough. Oh my God, does it get any more important than this? The draft recap, we went three and 14. We traded everything in franchise history for picks. And those picks turned into, turned into, I see so many 70s. Where do we start? Jamie Childress, our very first pick, is a monster. 77 overall. Jamie Childress, 84 speed, 89 excel. Oh, he's a beast. Okay, let's go pick by pick. Dwight Novak. Dwight Novak is not as good as I thought. He still is hidden Debbie, 73 overall. But I'm so glad I picked up Kyle Callaway as well. Yeah, 73 overall. I, I honestly expect him to be a 77 or 78 with how good his stats looked. Manny Moses, the hidden dev right tackle is a 74. Earl Andrews is a 72, so our tackles aren't too strong. Matthew Gresham ended up being an excellent pick. Uh, even though he's a little slow, he starts at a 76 overall. Josh Boss was our normal dev, kind of a whiff here. 93 speed, 93 excel is nice, but he's only 72 overall. Patrick Beckham, that DB... Who? He's a beast. That was a really, really good pick. Patrick Beckham is a 77 overall. Quincy Hawkins was a very good pick as well. 75 overall. Alani Gaffney out of Michigan, a 76. I think Callaway's going to be the starter. I knew that Cat. Oh, dude, I knew it. I should never have even picked up Novak. I should have trusted my gut and taken some other position because I knew Callaway was a dog. I guess I didn't know Callaway would fall so far, though. So I'm really glad that Callaway fell as far as he did. He's a 76 overall, and they're both hidden devs. So I think Callaway needs to be the starter. Khalil Thomas was a 72. He's who I was going to move to guard. Oscar Hammond, 73. Sweeting's a 75. And Blaine Meltzer's 76. Byram's a 76. These were both huge pickups. Darius Morse is a 75. Mick Petty, that late round tight end, is a 74. Dylan Tigner, yeah, he was falling in the draft, and I still took him. And that was just, that was a really bad pick. Uh, 67 overall. Not much to show for it. Tyler Oliver, 
nothing great there. Wolf, nothing great. Jalen Harris. Looks like the uh, the computer picked me a pretty nasty halfback. Clifton Northrup, who's actually higher overall than my first round pick. But he's 87 speed, 91 excel, so I still kind of like our first round pick better. Unless he was hidden dev somehow. We got a guard and a center. That's huge. They did pick us up a guard and a center. We obviously needed both. And then Paul Holcomb. Let's take a look around the entire NFL, though, at all of the picks. The very first pick, Eric Irons QB, was actually trash. This is who the Seahawks took, and he's trash. That's amazing. Barkley, no good. I didn't get him. Then Novak. Joey Bernal, missed on him. That's okay. Alex Holmes. Alex Holmes would have been a slightly better tackle pick, but I didn't have him as an option. So far, it doesn't look like I really whiffed on anything. There's none of these guys or guys that I'm thinking I really wanted. Cecil Humphreys, left end out of Oklahoma, has 85 speed. He actually looks pretty nice. Quan Murphy, wide receiver. I'm glad I passed on him. 91 speed. He doesn't look special at all. 72 overall. Ben Lehman, wide receiver. Nothing special there either. 90 speed. He's a 75 overall. He He's nice. Julius Davis, George Barton, halfback that went to the Giants. 70 comes out as a 77 overall. That would have been a better pick for me for sure. There wasn't any like crazy, ridiculous high overall players in the first round that I missed on. In fact, the highest overall player in the entire draft was Jamal Rafer, a third round tight end that landed with the Jaguars. He's got 88 speed. That's a very nice pick. The next highest was Jamie Childress. We got him. After that is Beckup, and we got him too. So we got two of the highest overall players in the draft. William Thorne went to the Cardinals. Barton went to the Giants. And there's Dalton Haynes, Charles Scott. Gresham went to us. Keenan Charles goes to the Seahawks. Bynum went to us. Blaine Meltzer went to us. Alani Gaffney went to us. Kyle Callaway went to us. We killed it. This is a spectacular draft. I'm serious. How about the fastest player in the draft? Fastest player was Kirk Hoffman, a white wide receiver out of Washington State in the fifth round. Who's a... Ooh, that's a nasty pickup. Steelers got a dog in the fifth round. 72 overall. Then it was Tyler Oliver. It's actually the second fastest. I did get him, but he's only 68 overall. Deshaun Young halfback is 93 speed. You know what? We actually got the fastest halfback in the draft. Josh Boss was the fastest halfback in the draft. So I can't be too mad about that. Although this Hoffman dude has 99 acceleration, 98 agility. That is like a Hall of Fame speedster. That was actually, dude, that was an immaculate draft. I know, I'm technically the Bears. I'm wearing a Lions jersey. It looks a little stupid, but wow, what a draft. I'm actually super, super, super impressed with how that draft went. Dude, this actually looks so funny. It's so funny how many people have similar face skins, too. Our quarterback and halfback are just the same damn guy. Wait a minute, though. Oh, my God, Josh Boss, my first round halfback is normal dev, but the guy that the CPU picked in, like, the sixth round Northrop is star. I mean, at least star. I hate to say star. Clifton could be a superstar. It just probably isn't. This fucking guy has 99 break tackle. Oh my God, we have to start him. He's slow. He's slow, but we have to start him. I am so sorry to my boy boss, man. I actually am. Fucking insanely enough, every single one of my tight ends is hidden dev, but none of my wide receivers are. Three pieces of my O-line are hidden dev. My center and left guard are normal. And then defensively, Byram, hidden dev. Meltzer's normal. Yeah, Quincy Hawkins. Our backers are nice. Our backers are nice. Then at DBs, we got Beckham and Holcomb. We got Cam Dantzler, Gresham. Oscar Hammond. Gotta start him. If he's hidden dev, we gotta start him over Morse. Somehow Josh Childress is starting twice. That's obviously not supposed to be the case. Or Jamie Childress. Before I get in here and change a bunch of things that I don't even know if they'll be important to change or not, I'm just gonna sim to midseason. I'm hoping that this will unlock most of the dev traits of all these rookies. I'll get to see who's star, who's superstar, and potentially if we somehow hit the Hail Mary, we could have a superstar X Factor in there. It's possible. I've done it one time ever with Randy Stevenson in my first ever rebuild with the Houston Texans. But that was it. That's the only time I ever did it. I also don't understand. I thought I relocated to Tokyo. Like, how am I not in Tokyo? Confirm Tokyo. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Here we go. Holy shit. Okay, it's working this time. I'm going to be the Tokyo Dragons because I'm dragging these nuts across your face, bitch. Woo! Tokyo, Japan, the Dragons Den. Although I don't get it. Why is my logo not changed? Like, shouldn't I be? Oh, I am the Dragons. It actually worked that time. Let's go. Nihau! Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wait a minute. Not even everybody's unlocked. That's two superstars. Okay, so... Holy shit. Moses, the right tackle, was superstar. Khalil Thomas was star. Somehow, Andrews got demoted in the depth chart, which that doesn't make any sense to me. He never should have got demoted. Kindley gets hired. Andrews is still to be determined. Both of those tight ends we got for star dev. Dude, I wonder if it's worth it to take a guy like Gaffney 
who is a 6'5", really fast tight end. Do we take Gaffney and make him a wide receiver? 90 acceleration, his route running is not very good, but his run blocking isn't he? I'm going to make Alani Gaffney a wide receiver. It's basically how the Chiefs use Travis Kelsey, right? And then Mike Petty can just be our starting tight end because we need like... We need a start of guy as a wide receiver, and it's really not out of the question. He's only 6'5". There are tons of NFL wide receivers who are 6'5". All right, moving him to the top of the wide receiver depth chart. We really drafted shitty wide receivers, though. Like, none of these guys are good. Northrop still hasn't unlocked his depth trait. How many reps are you away? He's close, 365. Break tackles, take a little bit of a hit due to morale. What did I say, bro? This guy was my prodigy. Kyle Callaway is superstar. He's also fat as shit. Why are you so fat? You don't look like you should be that fat, but he just is. We are going to give him tight out. It's actually perfect. It'll work well with uh, with Mike Petty. Says we don't have a backup tight end right now. Oh, shit. We don't have a backup tight end right now. Defensively, any soup? Oh, I thought... Oh, shoot. I thought that was two superstars. This was our very first pick. So if anybody was going to be superstar, it should have been him. Jamie Childress, superstar left outside linebacker. He's got the same scan as Alani Gaffney. He actually almost has the same build too. He's 6'5". He's coming together. Jamie Childress coming together nicely. Superstar linebacker. This team is ugly. This team is ugly as shit. Beckham is star. Holcomb is star. Gresham is star. And Oscar Hammond. We haven't figured that out yet because I do have auto reorder depth chart on, but that was on purpose. I, I need some, some depth chart reordering help. We're two and five. That's not exactly the best, but it's more wins than we had at this point last season. Let's sim up to the playoffs. You know what would be nice? So we don't have like a massive plethora of picks for this upcoming draft. We really just have one. But we got to get a wide receiver. We got to get a stud wide receiver or we could sign one in free agency. Obviously, our team costs like zero dollars because they're all rookies. We have 65 million in cap here. Dude, look at that. Dude, oh my God. The, t the team of literally all college players ends the NFC North in the middle of the pack. We actually did better than the Lions. We're eight and nine. Not bad at all. Let's see how everybody finished. Any more superstars? The computer is God. The computer is God. That or like Clifton Northrup technically could have won like Offensive Rookie of the Year. And maybe that's how we got this depth trade upgrade, but I'm 99% sure that you can't get those dev trade upgrades until the end of the season. Like, actually, it's over. And right now, we're at the start of the playoffs, so I'm pretty sure this dude was just superstar. He's an 80 overall. He's got 80. Dude, he's already got a speed boost. That's my boy. I'm so geeked about that, man. Andrews keeps getting booted out of the lineup. This makes no sense. He's literally better than all of these guys. Oh, is he technically a left tackle? Oh, here we go. He's a tackle. Let's switch him to guard. That's my fault. I had him in the wrong position. Now he'll automatically start. Yeah, that makes sense. We actually haven't got to find out. Dwight Novak technically could be a superstar, but we just haven't seen yet because he hasn't gotten the reps. But um, dude, shit, if Dwight Novak is a superstar, we could trade him and get some serious stuff out of it. So that could be nice. Our wide receivers are honestly very pitiful right now. And on defense, everybody is unlocked. So the only superstar on defense was our boy, Jamie Childress, but a lot of star devs. And what I really like to see right now is the overalls. All these overalls are like very middle of the pack, very solid. And this is only their first year playing football. So, oh my God, dude, I switched. I switched their sim playbook to Dallas Cowboys. And no wonder Dak always wins MVP. Kyle Callaway, Kyle Callaway best for the third most yards. Granted, granted, he's not even close to the completion percentages or touchdown interception ratios of the big boys, but damn, that's gotta be offensive rookie of the year. You eclipse 4,000 yards your rookie year. Rushing, I don't think we're gonna be anywhere to be found on this, at least not halfway decent. There's Clifton Northrup, almost hit 1,000 yards in his rookie season. He got 10 touchdowns, got into the double digits. Nice work. Our best wide receiver was J.R. Sweeting, who had 1,400 receiving yards and 11 touchdowns. It, you would think this would have been like a really big season for him, but he did, I mean, he progressed up to an 80 overall, but he's still normal dev. I, actually, I'm talking shit about J.R. Sweeting. He's actually nice. 92 speed, 95 Excel. He got some serious, serious upgrades this season. What did he start at? A 75, 74? So he went up six overalls. That's good to see. And there's Tyler Oliver, that speed demon we got. He hit 940 and four touchdowns. Gaffney had 808 touchdowns. Not bad. Mick Petty, 765 and two. And uh, defensively, our best guy was Jalen Harris. I guess it's because he's our middle linebacker. That's concerning how many tackles he got. I probably want those going to somebody else. Gresham, 
Had the next most, then Beckham. What about Sacks? Anybody have Sacks? Travis Byram has four and a half. Meltzer at two and a half. Two for Childress. Childress is not getting used how I want him to. What if I move Childress to right end where Blaine Meltzer is? I think I have to do that. He did not have the season he should have had. I'll give him some time. I'm not going to jump the gun quite yet. Peeking back into this lineup here, it looked like Meltzer was getting sacks and Cleland Farrell was, but these guys like, I got to get Jamie Childress out of this spot. I got to make him a left end. He needs to be going after the quarterback. I'll put him down there with Blaine Meltzer. So Childress is now starting left end and Meltzer is starting right end. I really don't even care. I'll put Wolf at my left outside linebacker. This dude Harris was getting all those tackles. That's crazy. Hawkins is also an edge rusher. I mean, he's a beast. I'm going to make Quincy Hawkins my middle linebacker. This sounds weird. I think I need to do it though. I can't have all those experience, all those tackles going to somebody who's not going to progress. So now Hawkins is where he's supposed to be. And this dude Harris, I guess I'll make you my right outside linebacker. Well, we didn't make the playoffs, but we had a really good season. I'm going to sim this up to the offseason. That way we can see who won the awards. I'm assuming Kyle Callaway got Offensive Rookie of the Year. I'd be so shocked if he didn't. Here's the 2024 season recap. Oh my God. Wait, that's almost better. That's almost better. Offensive Rookie of the Year is not Kyle Callaway. It's J.R. Sweeting, the wide receiver who I was saying the one thing that would make him better is if he was star dev. Since he won Offensive Rookie of the Year, I'm almost 100% sure he gets star dev. Like, he just gets it for that. I was wrong. I was wrong in the best way possible. Sweeting doesn't get star. He went up to a superstar. I'm going to give him this playmaker upgrade. Let's see what it is. Yo, JR Sweeting. Break tackle, catch in traffic, juke, medium, short, and spec catch. Sweeting for the Dragons has abilities. All right, we're going to give him matchup nightmare and reach for it. Why not? Get, get a little extra yards. He already went for a 1,400-yard season. So Dwight Novak, what do you know? Dwight Novak is star dev. Turns out Callaway was 100% the call. And I'm so glad we made it. We could get tight out here. And yeah, I guess I'll go quick draw. It doesn't matter. I don't have an X factor yet. That's huge. It looked like we did not get, we did not get defensive rookie of the year though. So that's kind of bummer. I mean, we have so many rookies and we don't get defensive rookie of the year. So that's a bummer. Holcomb, our CB3 actually regresses in dev trait. So does Cam Dantzler and so does Hawkins. That is a lot of dev trait regression. A lot more than we would prefer. So that's that's not good there. But the good thing is our linebackers look a little depleted. I have a lot of money to sign in free agency. So we can still do that. $185 million available in salary cap. We could get any free agent in the world. I was hoping there would just be some like absolute astronomical free agent available um i mean we like literally we can sign any of these guys here's the thing right now we still have a normal dev guard how many more years is wyatt teller gonna play will he give us some good years dude in a wusu karamoa karamoa wants a fucking bag he wants an absolute bag but he's an 88 overall 25 year old superstar linebacker which is exactly kind of what i'm looking for right now let me start with wyatt teller he has almost no interest in moving to Tokyo. But what does he know? He doesn't know shit about all the great things that Tokyo has to offer. Gonna make him an aggressive offer here. It's got a high offer strength. Hopefully that goes through. And then same thing, Owusu Karamoa. Weirdly enough, this guy doesn't want to move to Tokyo. What a fucking weirdo. Uh, but we're gonna give him a seven-year, very player-friendly, gigantic deal. And we'll see if he decides to sign here. That is a lot of money to pay. But we are currently paying just about negative dollars to all of our rookies, so it ain't bad. I'm about to just sign the best two guards in football and let our guys progress like absolute crazy. I'm going to try and grab Batonio. I'm not going to give him a gigantic long deal like everybody else. Let's just give him a two-year deal. Let's sweeten it with some bonus. We got that fucking Japanese money. I'm paying this guy in yen. He doesn't know what the fuck is going on, but he knows he wants to go to Tokyo. He's trying to bang some Asian bitches. Let's go, Batonio. Take me home. If we get all three of those guys, this is my perfect free agency. There's nothing else I would want to do. Let's head to the draft. You know, I want to give a lot of credit to Earl Andrews. This man has played every single position on the offensive line now. He went from tackle to guard to center. But damn, look at that O-line. We signed Batonio and Wyatt Teller. They both are headed to Tokyo. Moses, the draft pick superstar. Khalil Thomas, star. And Andrews down the middle. We got Mick Petty at tight end. And some absolute bums behind him. Gaffney has regressed. Why do so many players just randomly regress their dev trait? I don't know if it's like the desired dev trait thing or what, but it is kind of frustrating because he totally should not be that. But the good news is Sweeting is superstar. Uh, that's amazing. And Northrop is superstar too. 
Callaway is superstar. And honestly, we got to trade Dwight Novak. I mean, what are we getting out of Dwight Novak right now? Pretty much nothing. Then on defense, we do pick up Jeremiah Wusu Karamoa, which is amazing. He should get a lot of reps. Then we got Hawkins, Harris, and this, this defense is looking awesome now. I like that we moved Childress down to the D-line. The young stud, Dwight Novak. Headed to trade, he's saying, who want me? Okay, the Broncos are already under cap room, so I can't even trade with them. So that's stupid. But they did have interest. Who's interested in my boy? Ooh, Lions are green interested. Lions, you want to... Lions, I know you got a nice draft pick. No way. Can we turn Dwight Novak into a round one pick five? Actually, I got I to gotta highball the shit out of him. Can we turn Dwight Novak into all of their 2025 picks? Obviously not. Okay, let's take out five, four. How close are we? No. Three. One and two. No. Just your first round pick. Dude, the Lions are actually going to part ways with this first round pick. Like, they're close already. It's round one pick five. We're turning our round one pick four pick into a round one pick five, which isn't actually that impressive. But the fact that Callaway is so much better actually makes it awesome. So let's, let's sweeten this deal. We'll give him my round six and seven in 25. Okay. They told me to get fucked. I'll give you... We have two first-round picks in the 2025 draft already. We've got 11 and 14. I'll offer my second-round pick, actually. Highballed it. Fuck. I probably didn't even need to give that up. But the good news is we now have three first-round picks in this draft. We have pick 5, pick 11, and pick 14. Let's go, baby! All right, our first pick is a high one. And we actually have the draft this time. That's awesome. I, I missed that. I missed that, uh... I missed those graphics in our first draft. Okay, not taking a quarterback or a tackle. We don't need any of those positions. We technically could use an outside linebacker. So we signed Jeremiah Wusu karamoa but the rest of my backers are dog shit. We have no true middle linebacker. So I'm looking to pick up one of these guys, either Kai Hardwick, Nathan Girard, or Braxton Fulton. I think Kai Hardwick is going to be our guy. He'll probably move the middle linebacker. He's got elite acceleration, great jumping. <sighs> He's just got to be hidden dev. Oh, what a bummer. Total whiff. I don't want to say it's a total whiff. If he's a high overall, he'll be nice. But 83 speed, 90 XL. And our very first pick of this draft is a normal dev player. Although, once again, is this because of the desired devs? Like the desired amount of dev traits? I don't know. Our next pick is round one, pick 11. Braxton Fulton is still available if I wanted to double up on backer. But no, I just got to take my L. The best wide receiver available is Kendrick Richards. 5'9 out of Clemson. Elite acceleration, good speed, elite change of direction. I think defense could use a little more work. I might want to take a D tackle. Or a safety. My strong safety is kind of shit. No, I need a DB, man. My DBs are not it. Right now, I only have one good DB, and that's Patrick Beckham. This is Grant Can out of Virginia Tech. Uh, I don't like his physicals, but his scouting report has A catching, A to C man, B zone. He's where he needs to be skills-wise. I'm going Grant Can here. Dude, this draft is a bust. Two normal devs. I absolutely have to get a hidden dev on this next draft pick. Damn, man. And, uh, dude, I don't have another pick until round six. My last pick here is going to be Jose Pitts. Free safety out of Ohio State. Please, one hidden dev. Dude, there's no way. There's no way I hit hidden dev on, like, 11 to 12. And then I just, I just full-blown whip this entire draft. I feel like... I don't know, man. Man, maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm just dog water. Maybe I just whiffed the hell out of this draft. I think it has something to do with the fact that the game has a desired amount of star, superstar, and superstar X Factors in the franchise. And since there were so many added from my last draft class, that I don't think it's letting me get them. Let's take a look at our draft recap, but I don't, I don't think it can be very good. Actually, you know what? Very solid overalls for those first three picks. Kai Hardwick was a horrible first round pick. Dude, I traded away Novak just to get Kai Hardwick. Normal dev, 73 overall. That's bad. That's bad. Grant Can's actually pretty nasty. I'm not gonna lie. He's a 75 overall corner already, so he's good. And Pitts is a 74. An amazing free agency makes up for a very poor draft. That's at least the hope I have going in to preseason week one here. Oof. Frustrated after that. Very weak draft for us, no doubt. But I'll be honest, I don't think it's gonna matter. We're gonna progress so well this season. Sweeting's already doing amazing as is. Callaway is superstar. We beefed up the O-line like crazy with Betonio and Wyatt Teller and then defensively adding Awusu Karamoa and listen we were talking shit about Kai Hardwick but Kai Hardwick's a starter now he's in there he's gonna be playing all hope is not lost in Tokyo Woo! 
Look at this season. 11 and 6. They take on the Cowboys in the wild card playoffs. This is played in Tokyo. As you can see, I am the home team. Looks like we got some upgrade players at the end of the season. Jason Taylor and James Matthew. Two guys I don't even remember adding to this team. Okay. Let's see how the lineup's looking at the end of technically the third season, but their second season. Hey, JR Sweeting is upgraded a lot. So is Callaway. But it doesn't look like there's any dev trait upgrades. Not that I can see anyway. No, nothing. But Childress had a lot of fun. I can tell. Karamo is looking good. Meltzer's playing very solid. And Byram, that D tackle is up to an 86 overall. Beckham's an 86. Kyle Callaway actually passes for less yards this season, but a much better completion and touchdown interception ratio. It kind of makes sense. If you're actually winning games, you don't pass that much. I'd imagine Northrop actually went over 1,000 yards, and he does by a lot. 1,306 and 10 touchdowns. Josh Boss, our first-round pick, still got five touchdowns, so at least we're using him. Sweeting an awesome season, and Gaffney in a 1,000-yard season as well. Definitely want to use Gaffney. He's really good. McPetty had 11 touchdowns, 10 for Gaffney, 12 for Sweeting. Really distributed the ball. Defensively, Karamoa getting the tackles. That's who I want. And he had five and a half sacks. Is that the most sacks on our team? Most sacks on our team! Jamie Childress! Yes! That... The transition of Jamie Childress down to left end was amazing. Five and a half sacks for Karamoa. Five and a half for Meltzer. Five for Byram. Nice. That's amazing for the Dragons. Interestingly enough, though, around the league, take a look at this, though. Third in passing is the Saints rookie, Blake McIntyre out of Maryland. Then Eric Irons. Oh, my God, Eric Irons. You guys remember Eric Irons? He was drafted before Dwight Novak. And honestly, I kind of thought he was a bust, but he's... Okay, he's playing his heart out. Is he up to Superstar? He's still normal dev playing like that. Oh, my God. And look who we find. Dwight Novak. I did want to check in with Dwight Novak. See how he was doing. Still star dev. Had a decent season with the Detroit Lions. Let's see how this wild card playoff goes. The Tokyo Dragons. Interesting to note, we have zero Superstar X Factor players. I mean, it kind of makes sense we just drafted these guys. But you'd think a playoff team would have at least one X Factor. I'm going to skip all these moments. Got to let the boys play it out. We start with a field goal. Cowboys score in return. We score right back. We s Oh, my God. Are we actually going to fucking... Are we going to win this game? 14 to 17? Oh, it's actually really close. 17 to 17. Holy shit. We scored again. No, there's no way we win this. It's 20 to 24. I need to watch. Wild card playoff against the Dallas Cowboys. You can see Karamoa, Jamie Childress. You can see Byram on that D-line. Childress trying to get to him. And there's Beckham, I think, with that breakup. Was that Beckham? Dude, we got some dogs on that D-line. Some straight up dogs. Second and 10. Dallas has got two timeouts. Kind of wish he had caught that. I want this clock to tick. Here we go. Third and 10. Childress trying to get home. He hooks D. Swatted down. It's fourth and 10. They got to go for it. This is the game on the line. I can't believe. There's no way it's our Super Bowl season. But we are looking really good right now. Rifles outside. Broken up. Let's go. And I think I think this game's just over. Fourth and six. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. We missed that field goal. And the Cowboys scored. Shit. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Our, wow, our playoff run could end right now. Callaway, it's time to step up, buddy. 37 seconds. The good news, we have all three timeouts. We just got to get in field goal range and actually make this one. Dude, Callaway looks like he looks so stupid. All fat like that for no reason. Absolutely whiffs it. Wait a minute. Don't whiff this one, buddy. Second and 10. Hawks. Great kick. Oh my God. That was to uh that was to our superstar wide receiver. That was um that was Sweeting. Sweeney. I forget his name. Another rifle. That one snagged. Hell of a play. Do you have Acrobat on? Because that was a monster catch. That old line is holding up great against Micah Parsons right now, which is huge. Play action. Cleanest pocket you're ever gonna fucking see. Heaves it. Got him. Got his man. That's field goal range. Oh, are we? I think we're just going to run the ball. Get it where our kicker wants it. I assume that's what we're doing. Yeah, we are. Hand that off to Corthrop. Second and 10, and we're kicking this field goal. Brett Maher, 49-yard field goal. Oh, come on. He already shanked one. Ice. Ice. It's the last name. Brett Maher pins it. 27 to 27. Dak with the Hail Mary heave. We're going into overtime. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's well, let's see the key moments here. Cowboys start with the ball. Oh, no. No, I didn't get to see it. Shoot. It goes too fast sometimes, but I think we just won in overtime. We did. 33 and 27. That's the wild card. Way to force OT. I apologize, you guys. It went too fast. Callaway, 33 for 42, 381. 
three touchdowns. Northrup, 2.9 yards per carry is not good, but Sweeting had 118. Gaffney had 85. Petty had 68. The game winner was a pass to Alani Gaffney. Let's go. Jamie Childress gets an upgrade here. He's going to go up to an 89 overall. That guy's a freak. That guy is a freak. And in the divisional, we're taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Niners start on the board 7-0. to zero. Are we going to respond with a score? I think we got... Oh, no, we did. 7-7. Seven to seven. They kick a field goal. We're back on offense. No. Damn, didn't score again. Niners are back up. This one... This might be the end of the Cinderella story here. 24-7. to seven. The Niners are kicking the shit out of us. We scored again. I think they're going to score. Damn. Niners are whooping our ass. I can't even watch this one. 22-30. to 30. Oh, my God. We have the ball. It's 22 to 30, 37 seconds left. It's not over. We have no timeouts. We got to be passing. Nick Bosa. Nick, what a throw from Callaway. But that clock's ticking. We got to go, boys. We got to go. We're in no huddle. We're in no huddle. We had to get in the end zone and we have to go for two. Go Callaway. Stop dumping it off, buddy. We need an opportunity. That's it, man. Who cares if you throw a pick? Third and seven. Here we go. Callaway. Stepping back in the pocket. Checks down on a get. It's just, you know, he's a young guy. He's never been in this situation before. He doesn't know what to do. But damn, I'm not happy with him right now. Laser over the middle. And that's going to be the ball game. I don't think we get one more playoff here. Maybe we do. Three, two, final play. Our playoff run. There were five Niners on that. And honestly, it couldn't have even been a touchdown anyway. Some questionable play calling there. It's a weird glitch. You have to quit out, but it saves it. You'll see. I, I lost that game 30 to 22. And it'll, uh, it'll save all the stats. Or, or it'll dashboard you in franchise. But I think it still saves it. Yep, L30 to 22. Honestly, I didn't even expect to make the playoffs, so I'm happy that we were able to do anything. Chiefs win the Super Bowl, big shocker, but the MVP is Neil Leonard. Offensive rookie of the year is Blake McIntyre. Defensive is Mike Smith. And at the start of free agency, we have $127 million in cap space. So why don't we just go win a Super Bowl, boys? How about that, huh? Damn, not a lot of high overall players. The best player is Ronnie Stanley, who I don't even need him at all. That's kind of a bummer. Evan Engram is a superstar X Factor, but I don't need him. Like, as much as I would love to pick these guys up, none of these guys I need. I guess I could take Jermaine Pratt because he's an 82 overall. Yeah, I'm going to pick up Jermaine Pratt on... I'll just give him a two-year deal. I'll make it nice and expensive so he signs and should be a good backer for us. But we, none of these players we need at all. We just got all this money. We're just sitting on it. I feel like Marcus Jones would be a pretty nice signing to sweeten this deal for him a little bit. I'm sure he'll sign. I, I, I'd just be throwing numbers. We're, we're so breaded up. We just throw numbers at people. Also going to try and get Amani Hooker. My safeties are a little sparse. They're all right. They're developing nicely, but they're all right. We could use a little bit of help. Low key, I'm going to get Jake Elliott too because Brett Maher missed a massive kick against the Cowboys. So let's make our kicker a little bit better. We're just playing with Monopoly money out here. Got a really deep first round pick in this draft. So I'm not too crazy about scouting this year. We really have this round of pick, then a round four pick. I'm picking up the 6'3 zone corner out of Washington. I don't want to give Beckham some help over there. I don't know, though. I'm just like, oh, I was literally just about to say, I was really worried that I couldn't get any more hidden devs. But with our round one pick 27, that's a deep pick. We get an incredible corner. 93 speed, 91 excel. Change of direction, agility, jumping are all great. He's six foot three. He's hidden depth. That was a very nice pick for this draft. That's pretty much the only guy I, I really could get. So we'll take it. The 2026 rookies. Juan Waters. That was an amazing pick. Uh, CPU got us a quarterback out of Jackson State. Got us John Woodward, D tackle, and Spencer Holloman. Nothing special there, but this is a dog. 75 overall, 93 speed. I'm happy with Juan Waters, though. Heading into 22. 26. Mick Petty? Callaway? What? Oh my god, Callaway is an X-Factor. Oh, this guy's such a beast. He's such a beast. Callaway, I'm gonna give him Escape Artist. I don't really even know what that'll do in a sim, but whatever. Give him Fearless, Protected, Gunslinger, Inside Deadeye. Mm, just giving him just the craziest shit. Oh, he's a beast. Look at Kyle. Callaway, the chubby six foot six Texas Tech quarterback, 98 throw power, 94 deep, 93 mid. His short accuracy is still really bad, weirdly. I don't know how he has not upgraded that yet. Northrop superstar, Sweeting is obviously superstar. Mick Petty. Mick Petty out of nowhere. 
goes up to a superstar. He's got deep out elite, arm bar. Let's give him a bruiser and a route apprentice. Why not? Defensively, anything crazy? No, but Woodward, interestingly enough, Woodward is a hidden dev. Amani Hooker does sign with us, and so does Jermaine Pratt. So happy to have both of those guys. Kai Hardwick is progressing nicely. Seems like a waste to get Amani Hooker, though, with Gresham being as good as he is. Marcus Jones does sign with us. So the Marcus Jones signing was probably our best free agent signing because you got Beckham, Marcus Jones, then Cam Dantzler. But where's the boy Juan Waters? Juan Waters looks like he doesn't even make the depth chart. We have too many good players. We need to trade. We need to trade. So Darius Morse, the superstar free safety, who's very young, is actually not playing right now. Because our current starting free safety is Oscar Hammond. Additionally, Juan Waters is not playing because we have so many studs in there. I did just draft him, but... What would we really pick up here? What if I gave up Morris Waters in my 2027 second round pick? Do you think we could get an elite wide receiver? Let's remove him. Let's actually put in... Now, this is looking real weird, but show me my DBs. So the Dolphins are slightly interested in Marcus Jones and my round two pick. Darius Morris, they're not interested in. I'm trying to find somebody who's interested in Darius Morris. It look like anybody needs a free save. How? Morris is such a dog. Somebody wants him. He's a superstar free safety. I'm wondering if we could get like... Oh, Jesus. Look at the cap room on these teams. A negative of a billion. You think we can get Chris Olave off the Saints? I want another wide receiver because Sweeting is our only ability wide receiver right now. And we don't, we're literally not even using any of these guys. We did just sign Marcus Jones. I know that. But Juan Waters can 100% replace him because Waters is going to be star and he can definitely progress. I wonder if they'd take them. I'm just going to do these two straight up. What does this do for me? They want significantly more. They really don't want to move Olave. First to second, Marcus. What about Marcus Jones in a first round pick? Oh, they're actually so close. I'm going to give him my second round or two. I did it again. I highballed the trade. I don't care. I'm going to win a Super Bowl this year. So I actually don't give a shit. Marcus Jones, we picked up in free agency and immediately trade him. That's one hell of a GM move. But we just added 94 overall superstar Chris Olave to this team, which is exactly what I want for my boy. I actually keep my superstar Darius Morris. So let's move Waters up in the depth chart to DB2. And I could even move Darius Morse. Darius Morse is good, man. I'm just going to leave Darius Morse where he is. No teams want the free safety, so I guess I'll just hang on to him. Eventually, I guess I could take him over to strong safety, but Amani Hooker, I think, is our best bet over there for now. Shit's looking good, boys. Shit's looking really good. I think it's our Super Bowl year. Especially with the addition of Olave. Callaway has so many options holy shit we have a 95 offense a 92 overall and an 89 defense which is weirdly the exact same as our matchup the lions but i went 15 and 2 that is the best record i've ever had in a sim callaway's up to a 98 overall okay let's take a look at this lineup before we go into this wild card playoff game callaway is damn near 99 Northrop's near 99. Olave is a 99. So Olave seems like he was a very nice pickup. O-line is still beautiful. Wyatt Teller and Batonio are still happy to be here. Mick Petty's having one hell of a season. And then defensively, Woodward is a star dev. I'm happy to have him. Juan Waters, 85. Glad that we traded Marcus Jones. That was a good call. And uh, Hammond and Amani Hooker. Shit, man. We even got Jake Elliott at kicker. Yup. So we even got a good kicker. And hey, man, remember when we drafted our boy Oliver? We said he was a return specialist. Well, he's still in there doing his thing. 95 speed, 97 excel. Not to mention I have like 100 bazillion dollars in cap space. Like I literally could sign the whole NFL right now if I wanted to. Stats around the league. Kyle Callaway, 4,600 passing yards and an absolutely absurd Massive difference. Touchdown interception, 45 to 4. He is fourth in the NFL in passing yards. Rushing, Northrup, and another 1,000-plus season, but this time with 16 touchdowns. Olave gets 1470 and 11. Petty, 961 and 8. Gaffney, 912 and 8. And Sweeting. Sweeting is a little upset about the acquisition of Olave. He definitely took a step down, but uh, still 10 touchdowns, and I think he's probably just happy that the Tokyo Dragons are 15 and two defensively pratt gets 131 tackles very nice free agent signing byron with 10 sacks Meltzer with six and Childress with five wild card playoff it's actually crazy though that the lions are also a 92 overall 
And in the wild card, we beat the Lions. Callaway goes to 306 yards and a touchdown. Noak is 162 and a touchdown. It really wasn't a close game, so I'm speeding through this. Our next matchup is the San Fran 49ers. They're a 94 overall. The divisional playoff. Dude, this Niners team looks damn good. Ayuk's an X-Factor. Bosa's an X-Factor. Fred Warner's an X-Factor. The divisional round out trots Callaway and is... Wait, who is that? Who is that quarterback? It's not Brock Purdy, is it? It's definitely not Brock Purdy. Niners do not score on the opening drive. We hit a field goal, three to zero, and make that 10 to zero. Niners score seven to 10. It's our ball once again. We don't score once again. There's a lot going on here, but there's not a lot of scoring. They go for on fourth. They don't get it. This is a defensive game. Ooh, we're back on the board with another field goal. It's seven to 13. San Fran's got the ball. Oh, that is Brock Purdy. Oh, and he throws a Mallard. Wait a minute, this game's not over though. It's seven to 13 right now. Damn, Kittle was open. We've got a drive here to end the game. We're in the red zone and we take a field goal. That's a nine point lead though. Oh my God. San Fran offense couldn't do a thing against us. Brock Purdy really struggled. 18 for 28, a touchdown. Actually, I take it back. Kyle Callaway did not have a great game either. That was just all defense there. Northrop had a solid game. McCaffrey had a solid game, but he fumbled. It's got to be a big part of it. Ayuk was eight for 142. One touchdown for each of us, but we had three field goals. Shout out Jake Elliott. Yo, and the NFC Championship is two 15 and two teams taking on the Dallas Cowboys. God, you see the Cowboys so much in these Sims. Dak, Micah, CD. Opening drive, the Cowboys score. We score ourselves. Damn, we got a safety. A touchdown and a safety. Cowboys get another field goal. It's 16 to six right now. Oh my God, we crushed. Oh wait. Never mind. They're going for an onside kick. Looks like we got it. 23 to 13. Looks like we're going to score again. 30 to 13. 30 to 20. They're going for another onside kick. Hey, they kept scoring, but we were just always 10 points ahead. This, this Tokyo Dragons team is absolutely nasty. I've never actually had a team kind of just walk through the playoffs like this. 30 to 20. I usually like step in to watch 19 for 24 and two touchdowns. Northrop had two touchdowns and Gaffney. Gaffney was our guy, seven for 87. Here it is, boys. Let's take a look at the yearly awards. Oh, Callaway is second in MVP voting. Dak wins it, but we got the last laugh because we just beat the Cowboys. Coach of the year, Mike McCarthy. Defensive rookie of the year. That's my guy. Juan Waters is the defensive rookie of the year, at least in the NFC. Uh, best QB is Dak. Running back is Bijan. Wide receiver is CeeDee Lamb. O-line, Aaron Banks. D-line, Micah, Brian Burns. Damn, I was really hoping we get something in there. But Juan Waters waters dude round one pick 27 it's my boy and our super bowl here is against the 10 and 7 buffalo bills what would happen if a team had absolutely no players well they would develop into one of the most disgusting teams tokyo has ever seen superstar x-factor kyle calloway superstar x-factor mick petty what when did this happen this dude's only 23 holy shit Olave, Northrup, Sweeting. And on defense, of course, Hammond, Morse, Karamoa, Childress, Byram, Beckham, Waters. Come on! It's the Super Bowl, baby! 92 are all dragons. Take on the Bills. Starting this game out with a touchdown. But damn, I think the Bills are going to do the same. 7-7. Seven to seven. We're marching into the red zone. And we punch it in. And we turn them over. And we're still in the red zone. 21-7. to seven, But they score right back. 14 to 21. Holy shit, this is so close. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cancel the sim. It's 17 to 21. The two-minute warning just went by, and the Bills are looking like they might punch this in. Oh, we stopped him. Oh, my God. We stopped him with his kneecap. James Cook is an inch short. Oh, he, they're passing. Jamie Childress! Boom! Jamie Childress gets home. Why are they passing? Oh, my God. Seahawks fans. Does no one learn their lesson? Now they're in a big pass set. Josh Allen, what do you got? Josh Allen drops back, throws. He does catch, but it's fourth and goal from the seven. They have to go for it. They have no choice. This is the Super Bowl on the line. I cannot believe they just passed that ball. That was Dawson Knox who caught that. James Cook's in the backfield. Stephon Diggs is out there with a linebacker on him. Play action. Josh Allen unloads. Juan! Juan Waters! I think that's Juan Waters. Oh, it's not. It's it's Hammond. It's Oscar Hammond, our free safety. The star free safety, Oscar Hammond. 
ends the Super Bowl. That's why you run it on the one. Well, I shouldn't say that. This game isn't over. The Bills have all their timeouts. This game is not over. Colthrop, who's going to get this handoff right here, take it for four, and that's an immediate timeout from the Bills. We expected that. Yes, that stretch. Oh my God, it's free. Never mind. Got absolutely bottled. Wait a minute, boys. This game ain't over. That was some weak running, though. I gotta say, we're more of a passing team, as you can see here. This game is not over. Oh, Oscar Hammond is gonna be so pissed. It was an okay punt, but it was really solid coverage. So they can't take it out. All they can do is flag it down. They have no timeouts. But the Bills do take over right here. 45 seconds left. Oh, big pass rush! Childress! And I think that's Meltzer. Second and 24. Oh my God, and it's no huddle. Wait a minute, that might be ball game. That was such a big play. What are we running? What are we running? Stefan Diggs pulls another Minneapolis miracle. And I think the Red Dragons are, I think we're gonna be ringless. They have no timeouts left. This game's almost over. Oh my God, we have three timeouts and a field goal will take us to overtime. So it's still not over. We are gonna choose to take that out. I don't like the decision. Yeah, that just burns clock and you don't even get out to the 25. Come on, play action, big heave. You got Olave. Callaway instantly rifles that ball. Why? You got a clean pocket. You got a great O-line. Just let those routes develop. You got to take everything right now. Take the top off. Come on, Callaway. Deep ball. Caught. Caught. Oh, my God. And he's out of bounds. Olave. Oh, my. I thought he was going to try and go end zone, but he steps out. Holy shit. Wait a minute. We can go overtime. Come on. Drills it. Oh, oh, Jake Elliott, he drills it. Overtime, the Bills start with the ball. Second and 10, third and 10. Oh, and they complete for 11. Three yard rush, second and seven. Eight yard rush. Sean Mechie, big reception. Third and 11. This is a massive stop, and it's a deep field goal too, so we just gotta get the stop right here. Play action. Oh, through the middle! They're out of field goal range! Byram, the D tackle. Oh, biggest play of the game. Biggest play of the game right there. Bass is coming out for a 63 yarder in the bowl. You're lying. Did he just fucking pin that? Did he pin that? <gasps> he missed. I couldn't tell. He missed. Oh my God. All we need is a, all we need is a field goal to win the Super Bowl. And we take over from where they kicked it. So we're almost in field goal range. Hell yeah. Go, go Colthrop. Second and three, Northrop, whatever. Dude, we just keep running this ball and then Jake Elliott comes out and buries it. It's ball game. Another run. We're really not a run team, but he's moving very nicely right now. Right up the middle, halfback dive. Super smart play calling and a broken tackle from Northrop. Second and three, clock is ticking. The Bills Bills can do nothing but sit and watch as we damn near. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't. Why? Don't do that. You win with a field goal. Do you not understand that? I swear to God, Callaway. Laser. What are you doing? Are we trying to lose? Not only did you try that once, but you tried it again. Dude, what the fuck are we doing? Second and eight, the Bills call a timeout. I don't know why they call a timeout because it's the Super Bowl. This game can't end until there's a winner. The good news is we should probably... Dude, I was going to say we should probably be able to hold here. Oh my God, I don't even want to watch. Patrick Beckham with an interception. Patrick Beckham with an interception. I didn't get to watch it. I was simming the moments. I was really scared the Bills were just going to win it right there. And I really didn't want to watch that. But damn, shifty running out of Josh Boss. And there's Northrop right there. Guys, see, see, you're doing it now. Again, you're doing the smart thing. You're running the football. They're trotting Jake Elliott out. It is a, it's a pot shot. It's an easy one. It's money. <laughs> That was the wildest Super Bowl I've ever been a part of. And the Red Dragons. Oh, they make it through. Let's go. There's that little glitch here where when I'm watching it, I don't get to see the confetti, but I do get the win. Let's go. Super Bowl 61 goes to the Tokyo Dragons. The MVP is Clifton Northrup. Damn. Juan Waters wins defensive rookie of the year of the entire NFL. And that is what would happen if you had absolutely zero players on your lineup. I like it a lot. Look at this team, boys. Look at this team. So many legends. So many absolute legends. All right, boys. That is all. We won the Super Bowl. Hey, I love you guys. Thanks for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.